is Trans Radio Broadcasting Corporation Inquirer Radio 990 AM News, Information, Entertainment, and Public Service DZIQ Inquirer Radio 990 AM Member KBB Mga kabataan! Power up your Saturday! Just do it! Makitrending! Mag-shout out! Be connected! Nasa FB ka man o Twitter, Instagram o Google+, Impossible is nothing! Dito, di ka na mauhuli sa uso! We love it! Join ka na! Your potential is our passion! Be inspired! Be informed! Be involved! Be empowered! It's the real thing! Voice of the Youth Radio! Voice of the Youth Radio! Voice of the Youth Radio! Makinig sa Voice of the Youth Radio! Sa Radio Inquirer, 9.90 a.m. Saturdays, 3 p.m. Think differently! I-like mo na! I-share mo pa! Voice of the Youth Radio. See you now. Voice of the Youth Network. Informing. Inspiring. Involving and empowering the Filipino youth worldwide. Initiating startup sequence. Minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Can you hear it? Can you feel it? <sighs> Voice of the Youth Radio is back. Voice of the Youth. Voti Network brings you once more Voice of the Youth Radio. 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 Now on its 10th year. Even louder and more powerful. Via Inquirer Radio. Of the Youth Radio. It's the newest and most trending show on radio. Know the latest in technology. Engage in the most awesome advocacies. And meet the coolest young Pinoys. Power up and share your voice. Hashtag Bodhi Radio. Only here on Inquirer Radio 990 AM. Voice of the Youth Radio. Voice of the Youth Radio. We know now. The Filipino youth are now showing the world that they are determined to stand out. They are speaking out and looking for ways to make a difference in their communities by being active in various activities and endeavors provided for them or by being proactive in making the moves on their own. They are encouraged early on to go out and find their passion and to lead their dreams. We are the power. We are Voice of the Youth. Welcome to Voice of the Youth Radio. Okay, magandang hapon mga kapitid. Medyo masama yung boses. <laughs> Medyo masama yung baso ko doon. Ayan, so mga kapitid, isang Sabado na naman. Welcome once again. I am Dan Capuchon. Mga kasama niyo dito sa Voice of the Youth Radio. Kasama pa rin ng magandang C. Si... Hi, I'm Audrey Tangona. Kaway-kaway sa kamera natin, Audrey. And uh, please check us out if kung online kayo. Nasa mm-hmm. Ustream kami at yeah. www.ustream.com. Okay. 
youtube.tv slash channel slash DZIQ. Siyempre, bago ang lahat, babatingin natin si Sir Pocholo na nagtutunong ngayon sa KD Voices. Ang VoiceWorks 27. Hi! Ito Hi, na yung mga, VoiceWorks. Ito na yung mga panghapon. Nandito na sila. Just, oh, maya. Actually. Oh, ayan o. Oh, Party-party na sila dito. Party, oh. party. <laughs> Meron tayong mga bisita ayan. ngayon. Siyempre. Na mga... Mm-hmm. Voice talents from Voice Works. Of course, works. lagi naman tayo may bisita mga voice talents. Mm-hmm. Binabati ko yung AM and PM class. Ayan. So, kayo yung PM, di ba? Ah, AM. AM class. So, yes, yung mga PM. Oh, yung yung mama ni Frances Aquino. Si, si, si Mama Darling. <laughs> mama Hi, Darling. Yung sana naman, Mama Darling. Si Thanks Tita Cecil. Thanks for tuning in. Siyempre, si Tita Presi na nag-birthday nung uh, Thursday, I think. Thursday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday po. Uh, okay, at oh, magpakilala kayo mga mm, mga darling. <laughs> Hello, good afternoon mga katinig natin diyan. Uh, I'm Adrian Santoalla, head ng um, External Affairs Department and guest coordinator ng Voti Radio and mm-hmm. minabati ko yung mga classmates ko from For Rizal ng Pitago High School, Ronnie, Janelu, mm-hmm. John Marie. Balita ako okay, pupunta dito ngayon yung mga classmate. Ay, yes, classmate mo? Tagay mo ma. Mm, go go si mga taga PM class diyan. Ay AM. Ayan, Ayan. Hi, good afternoon mga katinig I am Jaris Verba, Head of Events Documentation And ba- uh, VoiceWorks Batch 27 mm, Kung gusto niyo magpa-picture, lapit kayo kay Jaris <laughs> <laughs> Si uh, si Enchong, di kasama natin dito O ba, teka <laughs> Ay, oh, oh, sige, see ya. It's yeah. behalf of Action B over mm-hmm. here. Hello everyone, mga katinig. I'm Maris Del Rio and part of the 27th batch of, of course, voice works with, of course, none other than Mr. Pocholo Gonzalez. So wow. hopefully we'll be having an entire fun and thrilling afternoon. So mm-hmm. good luck! Yun naman pala yun. Siyempre naman, magiging fun and thrilling afternoon. Oh, ikaw naman natin, o oh, diba kami mga gusto kong batiin? Um, hi po sa akin. <laughs> <laughs> Parang kagabi lang, balita ka na, party-party ka na naman. Uh, Siyempre, Friday. Mm-hmm. Ah, so, kamusta okay. naman ang weekend mo? Mm, ito, Dad. nilalamig. Naka-jacket nga ako ngayon. Eh. Oo nga. <laughs> Alam mo ba, meron palang phenomenon ngayon mm-hmm. na parang nagkakaroon daw ng global cooling. Oh, teka. Global Iba yun sa global warming. Mm, ah. Parang, akala natin, nagiging mm-hmm. warm na yung mundo. Nagiging... Uh-huh. Oo, oh, nalalamig ngayon yung kamay ko ngayon. Like <laughs> Hindi ko alam kung dahil sa klima o kinakabahan lang ako. <laughs> Pero maganda, di ba? Mm-hmm. Kahit malamig, eh, syempre, aktibong-aktibo pa rin ang ating mga oh, youth. Oo, nag-iinit pa rin yung mga yan. Mm-hmm. At dahil sa sobrang daming mm-hmm. events na nangyayari, we will have the news for, for the, the youth. This is Voting Radio's News for the Youth. Mr. Philippines 2014 conducted a press conference last January 15 at 3 p.m. at the Hub Rizal Park, Manila. Six candidates from North and Central Luzon, nine from Metro Manila and South Luzon, seven from Visayas and Mindanao regions, and three candidates from other countries compete and vie for the title Mr. Philippines 2014. The candidates expressed on the press conference the importance of youth, what they plan for the youth, that includes education, personality development, and many more. Meanwhile, the coronation night of Mr. Philippines 2014 will take place later tonight at Resorts World Manila. The SM College Scholarship Program, the flagship education program for the SM Foundation Incorporated, is now accepted accepting applications for school year 2014 to 2015. SM is now inviting qualified graduating fourth year public high school students to avail this opportunity. The scholarship program, now on its 20th year, helps provide quality education to bright but underprivileged high school graduates. The program has 1,200 college scholars at any time nationwide enrolled in 73 colleges and universities in NCR. Baguio, Batangas, Bulacan, Cavite, Laguna, Lucena, Pampanga, Pangasinan, Rizal, Tarlac, Bacolod, Cagayan de Oro, Cebu, Davao, and Iloilo. For further information, visit www.thesummitexpress.com. This has been Audrey Tanganan for the News for the Youth. News for the Youth. If you want to ride. 
Party, yeah. Okay, yung nag-news for the youth, no? Oh, diba? Si Sino ba yun? <laughs> yan tayo mga voice artist, eh. Madami tayong mga role. <laughs> Pero dahil dyan, punta na tayo sa mga bisita natin dito uh-huh. na nagaganda na nagagwapuhan. Unahin na natin ng... Uh, Ah, ito es uh, es ano es <laughs> okay siya ang representative ni Mr. Vinny Flores so pakinggan muna natin tong uh, PSA for this the most sought after Philippine motivational speaker Vinny Flores will be having his very first public seminar this year on January 19 5pm entitled New Year's Resolution Workshop Seminar at Prestige Towers Roof Deck, Emerald Avenue, Ortigas Center. Visit www.veniflores.com. If you want to ride, go ride the white horse. Yes, so okay. welcome to so, Mr. Robert Sariel. Uh-huh. We promote welcome the po. event. Mm-hmm. Yes. Welcome to the Voice, of the, to Voice of the Youth Radio. So, sir, ano po ang role nyo dun sa event na mangyayari on January 19? Okay, I've been mm-hmm. uh, well, working with Coach Venny for mm-hmm. uh, since last year and uh, I'm here to represent him. Uh, uh, my role here is to tell people about what they're going to Ayan. expect. Mm-hmm. So, so sabi niya is it's something new. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. to be honest, I marami dito. Mm-hmm. Hindi ko actually alam yung ano yung new Mangyayari. na. Mm-hmm. Pero, knowing Venny Flores, I believe mm-hmm. na you, he's been here before. Aha, uh-huh, yeah. We, yes, we and, met with him. Uh, his trainings basically believe na ang lahat ng bagay is nanggagaling sa, sa ating mga thoughts. Mm-hmm. Diba? Sabi nga ng wow. lolo ko minsan, uh, what you think is what you are and what you believe is what you will be. Mm-hmm. Pero minsan, may mga taong naniniwalang magaling sila at Uh, magiging successful sila pero bakit hindi pa din nagiging successful? Oh. Hmm, Kul- kulang pa ba sila oh. sa motivation Ayan. sa sarili? Ayun, ang uh. explanation ni Coach Venny dyan, okay. it's because uh, your thoughts are not just your conscious thoughts but a lot of it belong to the subconscious level. Mm. Diba? Ayun. Wow. Wow. So, if you can solve the problems at the subconscious level, mm-hmm. then you would Our belief is, is our belief, Coach Venice's belief is you can be very successful. Mm-hmm. So this workshop, it's um, is it like a New Year's resolution setting? Ah mm-hmm. uh, yeah, uh, actually, uh, he said he's out there to debunk the. I, mm-hmm. I think di ko lang narinig yung 21 day rule where uh-huh. if you do something mm-hmm. for 21 straight days, oh yeah, magiging habit na parang challenge. Na. Para sa Uh-oh. kanya, uh, it's not always true. Yeah. Hmm? Okay, so oh. actually, may, oh. oh. Para, diba? sige, I'm ex- actually, I'm kind of excited uh-huh. Kasi I don't yes. really know why We're also excited, excited uh, for that <laughs> Ayan. Ayan. Kasi I myself Have tried that 20 way, 21 day uh-huh. thing Minsan okay. 20 second day Parang bakit parang Wala hindi pa ako bakapit diba? <laughs> Ano ba yung mga parang Tinry mong i-change uh-huh. yung 21 days I tried to uh, Exercise every day. Although mm-hmm. nakuha ko yon in Parang 90 ako days. Din. Parang problema ko rin yan. <laughs> so, in 90 days, in 90 days naging, days, naging habit na siya. Naging habit. Lahat. I'm doing it every day. Okay. And uh, I, I'm into sales. I, I'm a financial planner. Uh-huh. And doing calls every day is a habit. Uh-huh. Diba? Mm-hmm. And sometimes you don't do it. So, uh, mm-hmm. it, it took, I did it for 21 days. It still is not a habit. Mm-hmm. I did Kasi, for 90 days. It's still not a habit. So, bakit mm-hmm. ganun? So, diba? yung explanation... Will it be explained in this yes. seminar? Malalaman ba namin kung bakit kami nagkakaganon? Yes. So, <laughs> But hindi pa rin lumilito mga challenge. Kami, <laughs> problema ko kasi hindi yata ako umabot ng pang day 3. <laughs> ayun. ayun. Ayun lang. Yan lang. <laughs> Sige sir. Okay, so what other things can we expect from this event? Uh, so, uh, you're going to learn how to control your subconscious thoughts more. Ayan. You'll be more in control. And the more control you have of yourself, di ba, the more successful you will be. And then, Uh, I think I mean, go, sa Facebook may lumalabas mm-hmm. diba? commit to the system and not to the goal mm-hmm. and habits are systems parang yun yung diba? pinakamahirap yung pagkocontrol mo dun diba? sa <laughs> diba? parang hirap labanan ng sarili mo oh, oh. <laughs> at buti na lang at na-mention niya yan mm-hmm. kasi mamaya meron tayong meron tayong ibabalik na special segment ah, that oh. also alam ko yun yun, ah, yun yung uh, ah, oh. parang ka- mamaya, related mamaya. siya sa pagkocontrol ng sarili. Pagkocontrol ng sarili at pag instill ng habit. Okay, si sir? Yes. So, paano po kami uh, makakapunta dito sa event na to? Okay, Do we so, have to register? Uh, you could just walk in. Mm-hmm. So, pwede we accept walk-in uh, registrants and it's going to be 1,500 pesos mm-hmm. and the venue is going to be at Prestige Towers. At the roof, Prestige Towers. Yeah, roof deck. And it's going to be at 5 p.m. 
5 p.m. Okay, so mm-hmm. if you guys have time, please drop by yes. the event mm. with Mr. Benny Flores, the New Year's bukas Resolution. Na yun, diba? Yes, bukas, bukas na, na <laughs> So, sa lahat ng mga katinig natin. Kasi so, start the new, a new week. Tama. Yes. Right? Also start Tsaka January pa naman eh, may habol pa natin yes. yan. Simula pa lang ng taon, nagsisimula pa lang Sabi taon. Sabi nga nila, uh, by January 15, marami nang nag-break ng New Year's Resolution mm. by this mm-hmm. time. So, pwede pang bumawi. <laughs> so, magandang, maganda yung pasok nila. Para, yeah. ops, habang nawawala na ng energy mga yes. tao. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay, join this event. Yan, yeah. yeah, yeah, sige. Okay. Last na message po, sir, para sa mga katinig natin na interested dito sa... Okay, so, uh, once again, I hope to see you there. It's going to be a life-changing event. It's going to make you a better person. Mm-hmm. It's going to make you win in all areas of your life. Mm-hmm. Okay, wow. so, maximize your potential. Start the new year, right? Okay. Yan, so... Pupunta tayo dyan bukas, di ba? A voice of the youth. Uh, uh, voice of the youth. <laughs> yung, youth ca- yung youth caster natin uh-huh. ang pupunta. Yan, so, once again, marami marami salamat po, Thank sir, Robert. Thank you, for having yeah, so yan po si Mr. Robert uh, Sariel. Uh, Baka po meron kayong gustong batin. Oo, oh, oo oh, pala. Uh, well, I just want to encourage people to be there mm. tomorrow. Ayun naman. Ayun. Yeah, yun lang naman. Yun, yun ang mahalaga. Mm. <laughs> Ayun, maraming maraming salamat po ulit, sir. Thank At, uh, you. Thank you for having me. If you want. Yung talaga ng parting party na naman tayo dito mga katinig. Yay! Yeah, Marami talaga nangyayari. <laughs> Pero syempre, alam mo naman dito sa Voti Radio, siksikliglig at nag-uumapaw ang mga guests dito. Siksikliglig. Siksikliglig, parang ako. <laughs> Ayan, so. Kailangan mo umaten bukas mm-hmm. noong New Year's Resolution Conference. Okay. Well, kailangan ko ba talaga? Uh-oh. Tingin mo? Mm-mm. At dahil dyan, no, sabi mo yan. <laughs> meron tayong our next guest mm-hmm. is from PJMA dahil dyan pakinggan natin ang PSA na ito Philippine Junior Marketing Association's biggest event of the year is here Mad World 2014 entitled Selfie How to Create a Meaningful Personal Brand is coming your way this February 2 at the SMX Convention Center This annual marketing aims to provide the students the perfect venue to learn the current trends in the ever-changing world of advertising and marketing. Only the best among the big names in marketing and advertising in the Philippines are invited to transform the ordinary you to the extraordinary. How? By helping you create your own unique branding. The fee for the event is 350 pesos, inclusive of snacks and certificates. For event details, you can reach John Dave Firth B. Karabit at 0915-146-4155 or you can email him at pjma.jbdkarabit at gmail.com. We look forward to seeing you in our biggest event of the year! If you want to ride Yon. So, pakilala mo na ate mm-hmm. Audrey, ang ating next guest. So, ang ganda ng PSA natin mm, for Mad naman. World. At syempre, kasama natin dito ang Philippine Junior Marketing Association Vice President for Communications, si Ms. Rika Makabuak. Kamusta kayo dyan? Ayan. 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 Okay. Welcome po sa Voice of the Youth Radio. Thank you. It's nice to be here again. Uh-huh. See you guys. Yon. So, yes, natandaan ko na siya. <laughs> second time. Uh, mm. Second time, see yung mga guests natin kasi ang dami nilang mga projects Oo and naman. programs. Yeah. Para sa mga kabataan. We really like Ooh. seeing people come back Yo. to us. Yeah. <laughs> Babalik rin kayo so, sa akin. Yeah. <laughs> Talagang kayo <laughs> po. <laughs> Magandang so, hapon po. Okay. Lapin po. Pagkwentuhan naman natin mm. tong new event nyo. Um, yes po. Mad. Ang na, ito, meron silang poster sa kanilang mm-hmm. Facebook page. Parang gusto ko mga ganito siya ta. Ang Pangalan ay Mad World Selfie How to Create Meaningful Personal, Personal Brand brands. So, can you tell us more about yes, um, po. this Actually, uh, before anything else po PJMA po is the national organization for mm-hmm. all marketing students po So, mm-hmm. under kami ng Philippine Marketing Association mm-hmm. uh, This mm-hmm. Mad World po is our biggest event po so far for the academic year po kasi we believe na we are the selfie generation so how do you create uh-huh. that personal brand that makes mm-hmm. you stand out po sa business so that's our goal po sa February 2 so hopefully okay. yung mga katinig natin dyan join na join kayo oh, te- oh, teka, gusto ko yung mga shot na ganyan 
<laughs> yes. Yung mga posters nila. Oh. If you would like to see, please go to their Facebook page. Mm-hmm. Facebook.com slash Philippine Junior Marketing Association. So what can um, the youth expect when they go to this um, event? event? Ano yung yes. kakaibang bagay na dito lang nila mapupulot? Mm-hmm. Yes. Kasi po, kaya po siya Mad World. May mm-hmm. branding na po talaga siya. Mad World. So literally, we take it Ano po, yung word per word, baliw na mundo. So, ah, ano? Ah, bagay dyan yes. yung... Hindi naman galit. Hindi naman, uh, baliw. baliw. Crazy ah, na good crazy, way. Yeah. Opo, yeah. opo. Sala sa lamig, sala sa init, kumbaga. Nakikin ang commercial, mad, mad world. world. Oh <laughs> isa pa, isa pa, isa pa. Mad world. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. Sorry, oh, pagkanta. Uh, so, yun po, ano, uh, we were uh, we were going to talk about personal branding po mm-hmm. this February to at the SMX Convention Center po. So, uh, one thing to look forward to po is our speakers po. Mm-hmm. Sobrang bigatin po sila. Oh, sige Ayan. po, uh, just a clue. I'll give you, uh, I'll, Ooh, ano po, drop one pala. of the speakers po. Mm-hmm. Uh, we will be having Miss Georgina Wilson. Wow. Yes. Um, isa pa lang po yan sa four. Yung, the other three as big. Ah, surprise. Surprise. Yes. Yes. Kaya dapat pumunta sila yun. para makita. Para malaman nila kung sino pa itong mga bigate. Yes, for only 350 po. Sobrang mm-hmm. laking investment na po siya. Meron well, ka ng certificate. Oo, pag sinabi Pag-tay. personal branding, mm-hmm. paano to nakaka-apekto sa isang uh, mm-hmm. individual? Why is it important for the youth mm-hmm. na alamin yung tamang personal brand. Uh-huh. Opo, oh, totoo po. Kasi sa business po kasi, uh, especially kami sa marketing po, how do you define yourself po as a marketer? Kasi mm-hmm. dami na pong mga, ano, mm-hmm. madami na pong mga students uh-huh. na graduate every year. So, mm-hmm. ikaw po, bilang, ano, bilang individual, how paano can ka-angat? you shine? Yes po, mm-hmm. individually. Okay. Yes po. Tama. Kasi, kung alam mo kung paano ka angat sa iba, ikaw ang mapipili. Diba? Dama, diba tama? Ako ang bida. <laughs> Hindi, I mean sila. <laughs> tayo, kung, kung alam natin kung paano tayo aangat sa uh, ibang tao or paano natin may express yung sarili natin Totoo, na kaiba po, dun po. sa kanila, is mas lalo tayo mapapansin at mas madali natin makukuha kung ano yung gusto natin. Totoo po. Uh, so, Miss Rika, samplean nyo naman po kami ng Sample. konting natutunan nyo about, mm. kunyari, sa inyo pong sariling personal mm. experience. What is your personal branding for yourself. Uh-huh. Uh, branding na lang po ng org po. Okay po. Uh-huh. Oh, As sige po. Po. Yan, 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 um, branding po ng org namin is we cross borders po. Kasi mm-hmm. di ba we're a national organization. So mm-hmm. bilang national organization, it's important for us na ano po, from Luzon, Visayas to Mindanao, who make all marketers po feel that they're part of a bigger family po. Mm-hmm. So yung branding namin, we're not just a federation po, we're also a family sa oh, marketing, parang, ng marketing students. Sa parang, yeah. parang voti. <laughs> parang voti. Kaya gusto-gusto uh, gusto ko dito po eh. Yeah. Pamilyang pamilya. Siyempre naman lahat tayo pamilya dito. <laughs> so, Kailan, kailan ito gaganap? Is February 2? Ah, yes po, February 2, SMX Convention Center po, 3.50 po. So, ano po, uh, for more details po regarding mm. sa payment, kanin mga oh, details po, uh, you can check us on Facebook po, at saka Instagram and Twitter at I love PJMA. Mm. Is there any other activities to be expe- expected Parang meron ba dyang mga raffle? Ah, yes po. Actually, <laughs> gusto, gusto, gusto mo yan. Gusto namin eh. Join na. Uh, uh, actually mga... po, ano po, uh, meron kami ongoing competition po okay. right now po. Uh, it's uh, entitled Selfified. Be mm. Selfified. So, Teka. all you have to do is take... Baka, oh, baka pwede tayong lumaban dyan. Oo, oh, ngayon. Pwede, pwede Paano po. Paano ba yung mechanics nyo? Ano po, take lang po kayo ng picture po. Selfie po. Tapos upload mm. nyo po sa group namin. Page Facebook. po namin. Tapos para miyan po ng likes, ang mananalo po, <laughs> a-awardan mismo sa event. Eh, ano? Wow. Yes, wow. Teka, sino pang katinig natin ang pupunta dyan? Sino ang... Sino ang in-charge dun sa... Uh, si... Wala. Ah, Actually, ba surprise din kung sino yung papanalo. Ang ah, daming surprises. surprises. Yan, yun gusto, po, gusto ganun lang niya. kadali. Upload lang ng upload mm. ng mga selfie para miyan ng... Wala naman limit. Wala po. Iba po, chinachat pa ako. I-share ko daw <laughs> sa pilitan. Oh. Pakilike na rin daw. Pakilike. Oh, Opo. Oh. So, mamaya makikita namin yung picture ni Dan sa so, wall nila. Ako oh, talaga. Pakilike daw po. Hihintayin po namin yan. <laughs> ano po yung magiging prize? sa Mm-mm. pag nanalo ka. Apo, uh, currently po, we are going to tie up po with a mobile company. So, surprise oh, din po siya. Laga naman, dami surprise. Cell phone, sakto, eh. sakto. Medyo sira-sira na yung phone. <laughs> Ako din. <laughs> Actually, sumali din po mm. kasi sarili namin contest. <laughs> <laughs> yun lang. Oh, yun lang. Madaya to. <laughs> okay. Anyway, is there any last messages for the youth? That you would like ah, yes to share. Uh, this is the shout out sa lahat ng marketing students mm. from Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. Guys, ano, uh, go to Mad World and I'm sure you'll be investing for your future. Personal branding to. So, how can you define yourself among the others? Yo. Yo, Yun ang pinakamaganda dun. So, once again, pasalaman natin natin sa pagbisita dito sa ating booth. Si Miss... Uh, 
Rika! Thank you! Thank Ay, you! Ay, po, meron kayong gustong batiin. Ah, hi po kay Mama at kay Papa sa Zamboanga Yon. po. Yon. Hi po! Hi All po. the way from Zamboanga. Yes! Hmm, talaga mga katinig natin kalat sa buong Pilipinas. <laughs> Yeah, baby. Thank you po. <laughs> maraming maraming salamat Thank po, Miss Rika. At sa asahan natin ng mga katinig natin is pupunta dyan sa SMX oh. Convention Center. Yan. So, On February 2. Mga katinig. Ayan, so move on tayo, Ate Audrey. Eh, sobrang dami talaga natin mga guests. Pero syempre, acknowledge natin ang mga uh, kaibigan natin katinig from oh, University of Makati. Kaway-kaway. Kita kayo sa live stream. Ayan. Hi. Okay, magpakilala kayo. Oh, yeah, sige. Pwede kayo magpakilala. Go. Sige na, labi na. Go. Mm-hmm. Ako si Cedric. Good afternoon po sa mga katinig na rin dyan. Ayun. Ayun. Kung mga katinig. Ayun. Ayun. Good afternoon. Okay. Hi. Good afternoon. I'm Fred Fortuno. Good afternoon. <laughs> Hi. Zyra Danya. Hello sa lahat ng BR1 and taga yun yung UMAC. Ayun. Ako si Blonde. Eh, eh hello. Ako si Aya. Si, ano yun ang loko sa kanya? Ari sa kanya. <laughs> Wow. Eh, <laughs> ganun. Na- nagulat kami dun sa pabati niya. Ako din. <laughs> yung mga nanloko daw sa kanya. Ayan, ang dami natin kasama dito sa Siyempre. buro. Siyempre. Ganyan talaga tayo sa Voice of the Ganyan Youth talaga. Radio. Punong We puno. really engage youth. the youth. Yan. At yan, napaka-youthful Pero dahil dyan, yun. punta na tayo sa next uh, guest natin ngayon natin. Ay. Pakinggan natin itong PSA din natin na ginawa. It's time. I am a young Filipino, and I am now making a stand. A stand for God, my country, my people. A stand against poverty. I will help end the number one poverty of all in our country, poverty of the mind and heart. I will replace my colonial mentality with a proudly Filipino Bayanihan mentality. God did not make mistake in creating me Filipino. I am honoring God's plan for me as a Filipino by loving my country. I am joining the fight to end poverty, not just in words, but more so in action. I will not stand by idly as millions of my fellow Filipinos go hungry while I pursue my dreams and build my riches. I will take on the dream of those who have lost their capacity to dream. I dream of a prosperous, slum-free Philippines. A people who will not merely be consumers, but also delete producers. I dream of Filipino brands which will be globally recognizable. Filipino brands that do not leave the poor behind. I will produce such a brand. Through entrepreneurship, I will make this dream come true. Not just ordinary entrepreneurship, but inclusive entrepreneurship. Living in a country so rich in natural resources and being among gifted people, no reason exists why I should fail. I will be my brother's keeper. I will help the poor become unpoor. I will make the poor a dignified partner in my business. I will end poverty by creating wealth, not just for me and my family, but also for the poor. Because the poor is my family. I will use my time to make productive the time of the poor. I will use my talent to help the poor uncover theirs. I will use my treasure to invest in the poor. And together, we will build a worthy treasury for all. I will be the next next Jaconomist. Come join me. this idea but not sure about what to do next? Be the next economist and learn the importance of social entrepreneurship and get inspired by our social entrepreneurs like Billy Dumalyang of Coco Nellas, Yuki Tansenko of We Garage, Christine Yap of Life Earns, Dylan Wilk of Human Nature, Shannon Kokda of Bayani Brew, Philo Chua of Theo and Philo, Brian McClelland of Bambike and Alvin Benitez of Golden Egg. Be the Next Economist is a social business competition open to all students of all colleges and universities. Submit your proposals now and be part of the next generation of game changers. Game changers. Be the Next Economist. For more information, please contact Eric Abad at 0917 
0946-886-6267 or email info at geconomics.com Be the next economist! If you want to ride Ride, ride, horse <laughs> Kumanta! <laughs> Ang ganda nung PSA nila Siyempre para na. nakakilabot mm, parang boses, nasa forest Be the next Jacanabist yeah. <laughs> Para may <laughs> may may something sa ilo. Oh, pakilala mo na ang next guest At natin. At syempre, of course, to talk about this event or this competition, we have here Miss Miss Christine Yap, a social entrepreneur of Life Earn, and she is representing Geconomics to discuss the Be the Next Geconomist competition. Wow. So welcome po sa Amin Show. Hi, Hi, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Hi. Thank, Thank you for having me here. Marami yes. salamat din po sa pagpunta niyo sa amin. Programa! So, uh, can you please introduce more about yourself and mm. your projects? Okay. Nakinig natin siya kanina doon sa PSA. <laughs> eh. Christine yeah. Yap of Life Earn. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I'm actually the social entrepreneur for Life Earn. Mm-hmm. So it's a social enterprise supported by Chikonomics. Mm-hmm. And Chikonomics. it's yeah, Life Earn is actually it's a cremation urn, but it's not just the typical kind. Mm-hmm. Oh. It's sort of like we want to remind people that there was life mm-hmm. that happened to the person before mm-hmm. the death. So oh, yun yung wow. ano namin. So where it's a product that is pro poor pro God and Pro Country, which is the branding mm. of Gawad Galinga, right? Mm. So, yeah. Oh, oh. Galing NYC, kami is an Enchanted Farm. Oh, yeah. wow. Really, you were Woo. there? It's we good. went to it's the uh, National Youth Congress mm-hmm. last December. At yeah. grabe. And tuwan-tawa kami sa GK Farm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's amazing, so, right? Sobrang ganda po talaga. And yung mga pagkain, organic lahat. Organic. Yeah. Feeling Parang ko, oh, oh. Lahat. alam mo yung feeling mo, ang dami mo nang kinain, pero ang gaan sa chan. Uh, Parang, ganun pala pag organic. Oh, ganun Good. pala yan. Yeah. Oh, sarap mo. Sige po. <laughs> Wait, ano po meron dun sa life or what makes it special? What makes it special is that parang ano siya, um, actually we started this um, idea uh-huh. when I was a participant before of the Be the Next Geconomist competition mm. last oh, year. Wow. So you were the so, last winner? No, I wasn't. Oh, oh, I wasn't. Yun yung twist. Yeah, it's actually Coconelas. <laughs> oh, 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 si Billy. We had, si Billy. We had them last, last week. Yeah. Mm. Uh, see, so even mm. if I, we didn't win, we still got to yeah. um, pursue this social so, enterprise. Marami pa rin kayong matututunan yeah. with this competition. It's this not year. about just yeah. the big prize. And okay. it's, because actually, ang maganda dito sa Be The Next Geconomist uh-huh. is they're actually looking for people who will take action dun sa mga ideas nila. Mm. So usually, di ba tayong mga, ay, hindi na pala tayo, kayong mga youth. Lahat po na po po pa dito ay youth. Oh yeah, uh-huh. okay. So, Ito yung yeah. rule namin dito. <laughs> Sige, kasama ako doon. Yeah, so usually, kasi we have so many ideas, kaya nga sobrang popular ng Facebook eh. Mm. Like any any complaints that yeah. we have, any ideas that we have, linalagay natin sa Facebook or sinasabi Plus natin. Status. Pero hanggang doon lang. Tama. So what can we do? We can, uh, with this competition, you actually have the chance to take action. To mm-hmm. actually turn that into a business that will benefit the people. Kasi di ba, ang social enterprise naman, it's something that you um, you you solve a social problem using um, business um, business plans or uh, business ideas or business processes. So, yun yung maganda doon. So, so, the GK, Geconomist, is mm. it open for college students? Yeah. Mm. It's open for undergrads and uh-huh. grad students. So, mm. even if nasa MS ka or PhD ka. ng proposal mo. And ang maganda doon, it's student. any any um, degree. Kasi ako, biology graduate oh. ako. I was take at Kaya that. Kaya pala sa life. Yeah. yeah. Life yeah. earned. Study so, of life. Yeah. <laughs> actually, so yun. So, anybody can really enter. I would actually um, encourage people na mas maganda kung diverse din yung team ninyo. Mm-hmm. And it doesn't have have to be uh, it doesn't have to be like three people in a team or five people uh-huh. in a team kahit mag-isa ka lang Ooh. parang Pwede kaya kaya ni Ate Audrey yeah you can join <laughs> oh, mag-enroll lang muna because uh-huh. <laughs> I'm sure there are so many ideas di ba I mean mm-hmm. exactly. actually just um, while I was waiting for this segment I uh-huh. was talking to somebody outside and he has this ideas oh, for a with, business mm-hmm. and you can turn yeah. it into a social really? enterprise wow. fellow youth dito yeah. sa ating waiting area yes. mm-hmm. waiting area lang Waiting area. What more? Sa lobby so, natin. What more yeah. sa mga ang dami-dami nating guests yeah. na dumarating ngayon. Man. I'm sure each and every one of them May has an idea. idea. And this is a good For, way to motivate them to yeah. put it 
into yeah. reality. Action. And the best part uh-huh. is that um, once um, pag na sali sila sa top 25, pag na pili yung entries mm-hmm. nila sa mm-hmm. top 25, they can join the entrepreneurship boot camps, Enchanted Farm. Mm-hmm. So it's really good kasi very, mm-hmm. like for example, kami when we started, when we submitted our entry last year, iba yung present namin. Mm-hmm. At uh-huh. ay, ngayon, yung life or na ngayon, it's uh-huh. different from what we even presented uh-huh. then. So they don't have to worry about having this perfect business plan. Mm-hmm. Kasi iya, ano naman yun eh, i-improve, i-improve uh, pa further. And ang maganda sa bootcamp is that, ang, I think the difference with this um, chicken, Be the Next Geconomist yeah. is that they can um, they can actually partner, they can actually engage with the GK communities. Oh, so, so they already have um, yeah. a target community kung wala pa silang na Yeah, they, well, even if they don't have a target community yet, uh, during the bootcamp, they can talk to um, the uh, the kapitbahayans dun sa Gawad Kalinga community. Kasi sometimes maganda rin if you partner with them eh. Hindi yes. lang yung ikaw lang yung mag-iisip ng mm, ideas. Parang nag-i-evolve pa yes. yung idea mo. Yeah. Ay, yun yung, better. Precisely. Yun yung gusto kasi ng, ano, ng economics is you partner with them. You don't just mm-hmm. get, uh, use them as a uh, as skill for skills yeah. lang. Nabanggit nga nila yun. Nandun tayo sa Enchanted yeah. Farm. Actually, yung cool thing about um, well, s- social entrepreneurship competitions mm-hmm. in general is it gets you on the track the, yeah. from just an idea mm-hmm. yes. then you, uh, you get yes. to learn how to really actually make it happen kasi yes. parang hindi yun tinuturo sa Tata. schools eh. so Take i guess action. now mga youth kung meron kayong idea anything at all mm-hmm. to solve a yeah. social problem be the next economist kailangan lang nila gumawa ng business plan business yeah. plan oo yeah. yeah. medyo nakakatakot kasi isipin niyo magpapasa lang kayo sa teacher niyo concept yeah. actually uh-huh. and they can actually like the Facebook page oh, yeah. of Be the Next Economist, and they will have the details there on how to make their business plan. It's actually more of okay. a business concept, muna, okay. so start and then they just submit it. What is the Facebook page again? Um, Be the Next Economist. Be the Next Economist. So, yeah. mga katini, log on kayo sa Facebook and search mm-hmm. search their page for the details. Yeah. And one more thing, I just yeah. want to know. Yung top, di ba top 25 can go uh-huh. to the boot camp? The top 10, they will have, each of them will have an, a mentor from AIM. Oh. Asian Institute of Management. So, it's mm. super awesome there. Wow. Yes. Sabi na ingit ako sa kanila. Because <laughs> so they have that mentor. As in, hahasain talaga siya. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and you can... And mahal to. Yeah. Yeah. Super, <laughs> it's super Chuchu. high class and super galing kasi nila doon. And no. even after that, magkaka- parang they will be supported by Chikonomics pa and they have a, a very good mm-hmm. network of uh, oh. professionals to help. Wow. Actually, sobrang ganda talaga dyan sa mm-hmm. Enchanted Farm. Gusto gusto na kami bumalik ni Ate Ode. <laughs> <laughs> Nagahanap kami ng dahilan para makabalik oh, dun sa oh. farm. <laughs> Ayun na, Dan. Gumawa ka na ng business plan ngayon pa lang. Mm, tara na. Mag- At, alis na tayo. Guys, huwag kayong matakot kasi parang Diba, pag sinabi gumawa ka ng business plan, parang, yeah. ooh, business mm, plan. So, big, na, word. big words. Big words. Yeah. Big words. <laughs> business plan. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so yun, parang huwag kayong matakot kasi mm. actually, meron din ako mga sinaliang competition na ganyan. Pero hindi naman ako mm-hmm. journalism or business major. Siya po ay BS math. Ah, uh, oo. Oh. <laughs> Medyo malayong hugot. Mm, diba? Pero parang, it's not that hard pala. Once, yeah. parang exciting nga mag-isip ng mga solutions. Mm. Wag lang kayong matakot kasi English eh. No. Kailangan Parang English yung yung yeah. business plan. Pwede ba sila mag-submit ng Filipino business oh. plan? Kung, ka, kung gusto nila. Oh, oh, wala namang sinabi. Pwede oh. namang I'm looking at the guidelines. Wala namang sinabi. Diba? Oh, Actually, actually yeah. wala. Ang gusto nyo yeah. bi- Bisaya. Filipino tayo pero, eh. Diba? <laughs> kung naman Bisaya. Kung ano lang kami na interpreter. Medyo masakit sa ilong yung Bisaya. Kailangan natin ng translator. Maganda pala siya. And even if they have like even passion lang nila yun. Like for example, ako I just got fascinated with death and I turned it into a business. <laughs> so they can do that too. They can use their weirdness. Wow. Okay. So kung ang passion mo ay pagsiselfie, parang yung kanina. Yeah. Mali mo, pwede mong gawing business yung mm-hmm. mga selfie. Sige, yan yung uso ngayon eh. Yung mga yung social media. Di mo inakalang papatok. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ganyan. Ayan. So once again, uh, sir, uh, ma'am, kung ano pong gusto niya sabihin sa mga katinig natin, message for this Jikonomi. Wanna be the next Jikonomics? Jika- be the next Be the next 
Geekonomist. <laughs> Ayoko na magsalita. Geekonomist. Ah, sige ma'am. Sige. Yun, I encourage anybody who has an idea out there to really join. Parang this is your chance to actually make things happen. So, don't be satisfied with just uh, posting your ideas in Facebook. Uh-huh. Do something about it. And this is your chance because there are people who really wants to help you out. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. Especially if it's something that will help the um, the less fortunate. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Once again. Tulad na lang ni Miss Christine Yap, yep. who's here willing to help us. Mm. Marami po kaming ano pa utang po kami. <laughs> <laughs> Para sa business plan. Uh, okay. Once again, maraming maraming salamat po Miss Christina from uh, uh, Social uh, Entrepreneur of Life. Exciting yan, Economist Business Plan. So, yan, so move na tayo kasi medyo talaga naman dito. <laughs> Walang Sabadong hindi na puno na puno ang bus oh, na to. Totoo oh. yan. Marami tayong mga bisitang youth nakakarating lang. Ayun. Hi, hi, hi. Kawai, kawai. Oh, ano, sino, uh, sino? Walang gusto magsalita. Parang nagsalita na sila kanina, Ate Audrey. Nat- natakot sila. <laughs> Ayun. <laughs> oh, sige. Ayan, okay. move na tayo. Pakilala mo na yung next guest natin. Ayan. Wild, wild horse. Binabati ko ulit si Sir Choi na nagtuturo ngayon dyan sa creative voices. Yung mga ka- voice ka- characters. Yes. Uh, uh, ayun, mga taga voice works dyan talaga marami kayo matututunan kay Sir Choi okay go Ate Audrey okay our next guest is Mr. Lord Pome Pomperada mm-hmm. and he is currently the regional director of World Youth Alliance Asia Pacific and you brought friends with you yeah. oh pakilala mo naman sila hi kawai kawai oh yeah nag-aayos pa sila ng upuan nila okay formation <laughs> Ayan. Once again, magandang And, hapon po. Oo nga pala. Mm-hmm. They represented the Philippines for the SEA, the 40th SEA. Wow. Yes, that's right. We're yeah. the latest batch yeah. of participants. Ah, so nung And, nagpunta po kami doon mm, sa barko, naka ano kayo doon, yung naka-formal. Uh-huh. <laughs> And we have here back Miss Jemima. Yeah. Jemima. 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 Sorry. Yes. Okay, go. Ma. Bati po muna kayo dahil uh, magandang hapon natin. So, We'd okay. like to greet all of our batchmates from SEA, from all the regions of the Philippines, oh. and <laughs> they're, <laughs> they're listening. <laughs> I'll give yours later. Yo, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> shalom. Plus <laughs> 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 uh, go, go. Yes, they're all listening. The batch of Gong Dakila, the 40th batch of SEA, the ship for Southeast Asian Youth Forum. Hello, they're listening to our national leader, Sir Ariel Arceo, and all our batchmates from. Philippines, all regions are listening. Or they're tuned in right now. Yes, so. Hi guys. 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 Hi Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, after SEAP, now I'm working mm-hmm. with World Youth Alliance. Okay. It's an international youth organization. From SEAP to YAP. Oh. From SEAP oh. to YAP. Yeah. But there's no much difference because mm-hmm. I'm still working with young people. Yeah. And working with young people and youth empowerment has always been my advocacy. And basically what we do at YAP is we promote human dignity. Mm-hmm. So we train young people to impact policy and culture. We bring them to the UN. We train them on philosophy and human rights wow. and bring them together on how they can make change in their communities. Mm-hmm. And Maima is also back with her work after SEA. <laughs> and we're actually very happy. It's like we haven't... Um, We haven't seen Maima in the last two weeks, but yeah. all our other batchmates we've been missing me- missing them in the last uh-huh. weeks, and all of our friends from the other countries. Yeah, mm-hmm. so you back Yes, December. we actually arrived last December, mm-hmm. and it's been a month. It's Ooh. been a month. Are... It's been a month since we. We've been I know, back here in the Philippines. Since we've been back in the Philippines. Our normal lives. So, meron ba kayong parang, kung ano ba yung pag-jet lag? Oh, pag-sabi, sabi, sinasabi lang yun ni Sir. Both lag sick. Say up madness yun. Both, both First, say up it's say up sick. Sa say up sick. Say up sick, yeah. yeah. Actually, Actually kami rin eh. Siguro yung batch ni Sir, say up madness pa. Nasa say up sick rin tayo kasi di ba pumasok kami sa Maricon. Oo, ay, namiss nga namin. For the press con. Ang dali-dali lang natin sa loob eh. Okay. And but of course, kahit na we're uh, like apart, still we try to work together. And actually, we have a batch project set mm-hmm. in May 14 to 19. So we'll okay. be targeting uh, Alan Alan Lita, and we'll be helping them build like something like a livelihood program together with smaller things. Like the project share has three components. So no. it has the I have talked yeah, about yeah. about this mm-hmm. now. The share a smile. 
We're just making kids of Alang Alang Lady like okay. smiling through role playing, puppet Share making. Then yes, there's also a component kids. of an art therapy session for yeah, some kids mm. who were affected by the typhoon. Yes, and we have also here Lisette and Hazel. Maybe they can share something. Yes, yeah, well done for all. Pakilala Introduce yourself. Bati-bati yeah. din. Talk my time. Hazel, Lisette, come here. Oh, yeah. yeah. So the other components are... So the other components that we have for Project Share is the Share a Knowledge wherein we'll be rebuilding schools and libraries in Alang Alang Leyte. Mm. So we've had previous donations already from the different ASEAN nations uh-huh. when we were on the ship and we've gathered around more than 100,000 from different wow. ASEAN nations. Palapakan! That actually came from all their personal money. Yes. Actually, almost 200,000. So, yeah, oh, yes. That's for the loose change lang of all the 320 people on the ship. And that it excludes the um all the donations Material. from material donations. More than, more than 100, 100 bucks or some more, donations. Yes. Clothes oh. and that we will be delivering on Alang Alang Leyte on May 14 to mm. 19, oh, wow. yes, on our post-program activity. So this is like our way of giving back to the community after SEAP. Uh-huh. So this yes. is like giving back to the community. And for the long-term mm-hmm. component. Oh, like, okay. Of course. We have the Share, share a Life. Um, share a Life. Yes, which is tuturuan namin sila ng mga livelihood education uh-huh. in partnership with the government a- agencies mm-hmm. as well as magigagawin din namin ibibridge namin yung mga institution na nagpo-provide ng mga scholarship to those affected mm-hmm. um, sa alang-alang yeah. lady. Wow. And then, magkakaroon din kami ng the bloodletting project na lagi namin ginagawa mm-hmm. para dugtong buhay. Wow. Para dugtong sa, buhay. Galing sa dugong takila. Dug- Akala ko dag- galing sa dugong buhay. <laughs> 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 no, dugong dug- takila kasi stands for dangal ng kabataan uh-huh. ng kasabayan. Uh-huh. Because uh-huh. we believe na youth is the, the, the the next um, generation na mag-aangat sa ating bansa. So, yan. And then we also have the Faith Garden. Um, isa siyang project ng uh, project also siya ng Department Lated. of Agriculture. Medyo lapit po kayo ng konti sa may para. Yeah. Project siya ng Department of Agriculture na itutuloy namin. So, mm-hmm. food is always on the home para in case na um, walang trabaho si tatay or mm-hmm. they, need, they, need ma- they need something to eat. They have uh, mm-hmm. vegetables. So, it can also be their source of income. Yes. Like, yeah. This is for Leyte as well. Yeah. Yes. Because yes. yes. one, of, one, of, one of the PPY or one of our batchmates mm-hmm. is sa alang-alang Leyte siya. So mm-hmm. one of the affected areas siya. So doon na lang namin siya gagawin. Uh, at least meron na kayong contact mm-hmm. dun yes. sa area. Which is very important in any project. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So then, yeah, um, basically Project Share, it has different um, aspects you have mm-hmm. education, livelihood, oh, psychological. So yeah. we want to have a holistic mm-hmm. project to really help the community. Because yon, we yes, want to really. Uh-huh. So we want to share with them to oh, help. Oh yeah, yeah. Ano yun, diba? Acronym. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What is share? For say up, yeah. helping, assisting, rebuilding, rebuilding. And empowering. Ah, yeah. oh, yon. Empowering. Kaya empowering. <laughs> yeah, that's right. No, and of course. Hopefully, I know we can partner with you with your projects. Yes, of course. Mm-hmm. Yes, of course. Well, syempre, here in Voice of the Youth Radio, oh. gusto namin yung mga projects, projects na... Med- kung kailangan nyo ng media partner, and dito media lang. Media partner na isasama na sa Leyte. Thank you so much. Thank you. We'll be there. We'll be there. Um, set na yung date namin, so we'll be there uh. May... 14 to 19 so mm. most of the Philippine participating youth mm. of the 2013 SEAP mm. will be there mm. will be there yes. Yes. and some participants from other countries will be yes. flying in Ren from our batch yes. mm-hmm. so to oh, take part diba, in this ano kayo, mm-hmm. region yeah, so some of our friends who Asian. are free during that time mm-hmm. they will actually go here in the Philippines to help out oh from other from other countries like from Indonesia yeah from other countries may kakilala tayo dyan si Ocha tsaka si oh yeah si Isumi Ibat ibang ideas na pinag-isa nila dito sa isang project. Mm-hmm. So, parang integration talaga of what you are passionate yeah. about. And yun yung maganda dito sa kanilang project. Anyway, can you share a little bit more about what happened during the... Siyempre, ang dami niya. 40. Ilang days kayong nandun? 51 days. 51 days. And 
Siyempre, <laughs> we would like to know oh, what are it, the things that you learned ano from si this program. Dado na si Ate Audrey, gusto mm, niyo manaman. <laughs> gusto rin. Tsaka si Dan, di ba? <laughs> Actually, na-inspire kami nung pagkakit namin sa barko. Oh, you should join. Kasi uh-huh. yes. after 30 years old, you can keep and try. Mm, pasok pa. Yes. Hanggang 30. <laughs> It's a really wonderful program to be a not... Sige po, lapit po. Here's a say up. Talagang you learn how to bring or represent your country and you learn more not only about your country but other cultures from other ASEAN nations. Because you probably get to realize na, ay, you love talaga your country pala so much. Like habang your flag is being hoisted, the Philippine flag. You feel so proud. Yes, you feel so proud. And to the point na, you'll feel like crying. It's like a very special moment. Basta, it's hard to explain in words. Pero, Yo, and we're very lucky nga lang to be blessed to be part of this experience, a once in a lifetime experience. And yo, and we invite other people to keep on trying nga rin, uh, to, to join and sure. actually experience this. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's th- something that you can do for your country and yo, and for our nation talaga. Yeah. Yeah. If you know you have the talent or the the wit or the ability to carry yourself and your country talaga. So just join. So this is good. application will be on April. April. Yeah, in April. National Youth Commission. So please well, send your applications. Yes, send your applications. If there are two words that could describe our experience in Sayap, mm-hmm. that would be life changing. Life changing. And you just have to experience it to see how it changes your life. It's hard to express As in it really life changing. Like imagine you're living in a room with two other nationalities from other with other religions, other culture and I think one of the most Um, amazing things that we had in the ship was actually the homestay program uh-huh. when we visit countries yeah. and then we were adopted by oh, so Malaysia mm-hmm. <laughs> we so have yeah foster yeah, parents and yeah Japan, Vietnam, Thailand, Singapore mm-hmm. and the Philippines. Philippines so for next year since our batch visited Japan, Vietnam, Thailand, Singapore and the Philippines mm-hmm. for next year they're set to sail to um, Myanmar, Japan, Myanmar, Myanmar Brunei, Brunei Korea, Indonesia and Cambodia oh, so and it's going to be Philippines yes, hindi mo na Philippines so every year other year And it's actually going to be the first time that the ship will dock in Myanmar and, and Cambodia wow. for the first time in 40 time. years. So it's very exciting. Wow. Because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. they have new rules in Myanmar now that you don't need visa. visa. Yes. So that's kind of like Actually, the Sayab, because I heard it from Sir Choi. And they're the same as Sir Choi. They're the same as Sir Choi. Life changing. Maybe they're going to be able to get out of the way. I'm going to be able to get out of the way. But I feel like that's not it. Because it's only a few hours that we can get out of the way. It's different. We can see message walls. Yeah, our message walls. Since we don't have cell phone. We don't have cell phone. But I saw it on the window. Grounded. I saw it on the window. Oh, we were out of the way. Because we were quarantined for two days. We're not allowed to go out of our way. Ako ginalita ng mama niya. Si <laughs> Grounded. <laughs> Siguro hindi yun. naman yun kasi syempre ang mga sumasali sa sayap, mga disciplined uh, leaders. Of course, no? kitang-kita mo naman, uh, di ba? Nakalinya nakali si... Wow. Uh, Wala ko masabi. Uh, <laughs> Alam, gusto ko rin yung ganung suit. We would also like to uh-huh. ano, take this opportunity to thank the NYC and the SIP family yeah, for the helping The SIP International us. Philippines and National Youth Commission. Mm-hmm. Yes, for helping They were very supportive throughout our, all dra- yes, throughout our journey. Yeah. From, from the training. Since before we left the ship, we had a month-long training. So they were very helpful. So ayan po. So uh, kung may last message na kayo, na oh, na nasasabi ko kasi medyo mag-news break na tayo. Sabihin niya po, ayan. Yes. Any last messages each one of you? At syempre hindi pa kayo nag-i-introduce ng mm, mga sila, kasama sila natin. natin. Okay. Diba? Ang dami na nilang na-share sa <laughs> Yes, this is Lisette from Region 3. Hi, Mateo, my partner. Uh-huh. Happy birthday! Happy birthday, Mateo! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! From Mateo, my partner. Mateo, my partner. Yes! Mateo, my partner. And to other partners. Kaya marami palang partner. Yes! From ARMM and Region 2. Ayan pala. Sige si ate na. I'm Hazel, representing Region 4. Also, hello to my buddy mm, from Region buddy. 6, Josh, and also to my region mate, Kulai. Hello. <laughs> my, my partner, my buddy. Oh, yes. yes. It's, it's a buddy system. Of course, my name is Maima, the assist- mm-hmm. assistant youth leader of the batch. Uh, hello to my partner, mm-hmm. our youth leader, Randy Magdalio. He was oh, here yeah. last time. Yeah, both, both of, of us you yes. talked about okay. time. Bakit wala siya ngayon? He's, He's in back in the Mindanao. Back to reality. Siyempre, oh, <laughs> kasi mga youth natin sobrang busy at back yes. to work agad to work. after the program. And, and I'm Lord from also from NCR, so mm-hmm. my men are our partners. Mm-hmm. And I also like to greet my buddy NCR from Region partner. 10, Jack Jack. 
And thank you very much for inviting us mm-hmm. this afternoon. Yeah. I'd yeah. also yeah. like, yeah. lastly, to invite all young people to join World Youth Alliance. Our membership is for uh-huh. free mm-hmm. from 10 to 30 years old. You just need to ch- sign the charter oh. online. So, pasok pa ba 10 to 30 years old. <laughs> and Oy. just va- visit our website. That's www.wya.net. And we have a lot of exciting activities happening this year, and most of them are for free. So yeah. see you. Yeah, yeah. If yes. you want to join Saya, please. Uh, yes, watch out for the application. The April. National Youth Commission website. April, please join. Actually, we have some application forms. Okay, <laughs> and we're going to break now because news break. Many, many thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Hi, pala kay best friend Brentfred. Oh yes, okay. Brentfred. Brentfred, hello. Bye. Okay, see okay. you. Thank you. Thank you so much. You are now listening to the most trending show on radio. Where can you listen to the hottest and hippest news in town? Be inspired, involved, informed and empowered. This is Voice of the Youth Radio. So what are you waiting for? Let the Voice of the Youth be heard. Tune in at DZIQ Radio Inquirer, 990 AM, every Saturday, 3 to 4.30 PM. Or visit us at www.voty.org. Tara! Masaya dito! Inquirer Radio, 990 AM. Inquirer Radio. Philippine Standard Time, it is now exactly 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Here now is the news for this hour. Malacanang vowed to pound the hammer on pedophiles and cybercrime syndicates following busting by foreign authorities of sex or sex ring abusing Filipino children online. Presidential spokesman Edwin Lacerda said the government will not countenance any syndicates that will use minors as sexual instruments. Palas will ask Justice Secretary Leila de Lima and the NBI what actions to be taken to address the situation. La Sherda declined, however, to disclose intelligence operations being done by DOJ and PNP. He added they will not allow the youth's future to be destroyed and, more importantly, the future of the nation. He added the government does not want the country to be identified as a haven where tourists can engage in activities deemed illegal and will affect the minors. Meanwhile, the death toll from an LPA that turned into tropical depression Agaton rose further to 37. The NDR RMC said three more were confirmed dead after being buried in a landslide in Barangay Hagupit in Santiago, Agusan del Sur. Seven others also died in a landslide in Tarragona, Davao Oriental, six in Cadiano, Dinagat Islands, and two in Bango and Moncayo in Compostela Valley. Seven people in Zamboanga del Norte, Compostela Valley, Dava Oriental, and Dava del Norte remain missing, while 65 were injured. Continuous rains affected at least more than 97,000 families, or nearly 500,000 people, while 52 roads and 21 bridges remain impassable. And that's the latest news for this hour. For more news updates, follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Our account is Raja Inquirer 990 at com. Or visit www.ustream.tv slash channel slash DZIQ for live video streaming. This is Ray C. Amado for Inquirer Radio 990 AM. Langit sa lupa. Ang langit mong inaasam. Nasa kamay mo na. Programang tutugon sa pangangailangang espiritual ng tao sa paraang nararapat. Magbabalanse sa litratong tagilid, ipapakita ang buong katotohanan at magbibigay pag-asa. Langit sa lupa, ang langit mong inaasam nasa kamay mo na. Linggo, alas 6.15 hanggang alas 7.30 ng gabi, dito sa Inquirer Radio 990 AM. Langi San Luba. This is Trans Radio Broadcasting Corporation. Inquire Radio 990 AM. News, information, entertainment, and public service. DZIQ. Inquire Radio 990 AM. Member KBP. What's up, y'all? My name is Apple the App, and listen to the voice of the youth radio. Fucking then you. Bebo, bebo, bebo. 
I really like Voice of the Youth Radio on 999 kilohertz. DCIQ. And yeah. And yeah. Hi, this is Boya Bunda, and you are listening to the Voice of the Youth Radio. Ikaw na. Voice of the Youth Radio. Voice of the Youth Radio. If you want to ride, go ride a white horse. If you want to ride. Yo, nagbabalik ang Voice of the Youth Radio at syempre. Woo, nakai sang oras na tayo. At, at tayo meron pa tayo tuloy-tuloy pa rin tayo. At o oh, nga pala, pinapahabol po ni Miss Christina ang deadline of submission ng business concept niyo for mm-hmm. the Be the Next Geconomist competition will be on January 31. Ayun. So you still have about two weeks to go bago yung deadline. So you have plenty of time if you have any idea gawin niyo na gawin na gawa na tayo ng business plan Siyempre. right now papakilala natin ang ating next guest so go out the order yes and for our yes. last guest mm-hmm. we have here miss sarah jane elago mm-hmm. unfortunately miss uh, uh-huh. sarah cannot on behalf make it, yeah. of miss sarah jane oh, yes is we have mr anthony yeah. lopez um the national council for children and young people on HIV uh, uh, um, representative yes uh, yes um, and we also have Miss Danica Magtubo mm-hmm. and she's also for the 7th Asia Pacific Conference on Reproductive and Sexual Health and Rights chair uh, representative Ayan. and also the chairperson of the Youth Scholarship Commi- Committee Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Welcome, Welcome to our show Hi, magandang hapon to sa inyong dalawa mm-hmm. Ang haba nung pangalan oh, ng event nila gusto, Interesado mm-hmm. tayo doon 7th APCRSHR mm-hmm. uh-huh. Mamaya tatanong natin sa kanila kung anong ibig sabihin ng 7th A to be continued Kasi uh-huh. <laughs> mahaba eh Ayan, so, so magandang hapon po Hi, meron ba po kayong um, please introduce yourself mm-hmm. further Yes um, Ayan, I'm Danita uh, I'm Danica Shahana Magdubo. I'm from Youth Peer Education Network of the Philippines. And currently, uh, nagsiserve kami sa, uh, as part ng Youth Steering Committee ng 7th Asia Pacific Conference on Reproductive and Sexual Health and mm-hmm. Rights na mangyayari sa 21, January 21. Mm, this January 21. Mm-hmm. Where will this event be? Na, sa, nasa PICC po. PICC. Mm. So um how can the youth participate in this event? So yun, ang um, first day po kasi ng conference January uh-huh. 21, uh, eto po yung youth conference, bali the next uh, days yun na yung main conference. So oh, yung first day, merong specifically yes. for the youth. Oh. Yes. So conference. yun, yung yung first day nilaan lang yun para sa mga kabataan na galing sa iba't ibang country sa Asia and Uh, Asia Pacific countries. So mm-hmm. meron po tayong mga mga inimbitahan na mga international yes, delegates. Yes, interna- ah. mga youth delegates and mga karamihan po dito mga mag attend mga young people na meron silang magagandang practices sa kanilang uh-huh. country. So mm-hmm. dito may exhibit nila yung mga good practices sa sa conference mm-hmm. nito and yun. This will be mm-hmm. the venue for young people to participate and for them to realize the SRHR uh, advocacy. SRHR. Hindi pa yun yung mahaba. Uh, ah, yes. Ito Asia, naman natin kay Asia sure. Pacific Conference mm. on Reproductive and Sexual Health and Rights. Yo. Yun yun. Yun yun. Sige, tanong natin uh, more about this mm-hmm. uh, event. Okay. Uh, again, my name is Anthony Lopez mm-hmm. and uh, I come from the National Council for Children and Young People on HIV, uh, mm-hmm. Baluti Organization, and uh, KNN Mulat Pinoy. Uh-huh. Okay, and um, I'm the chairman for the Volunteer Committee 
uh, for the ace, uh, up crusher. So, Daming ginagawa ni Kuya, bising busy. Really, Yan yung mga gusto nating inspiring youth leaders <laughs> eh, di ba? Mm. So the up crusher mm-hmm. is like uh, the short term for the APC. Mm. So, alright, so the APC, uh, dito po magsasama-sama ang mga kabataan uh, coming from different uh, regions of, uh, or different parts of the Asia-Pacific region mm-hmm. to talk about uh, the fulfillment or kung na-fulfill ba talaga yung ating uh, mga reproductive and sexual health and rights sa kanika nilang mga um, mga uh, ca- countries. countries. Yeah. Uh, so, kasi, kasi may mga areas uh, in the Asia-Pacific region which has really um, different uh, Practice. practices mm-hmm. and they, they have different problem areas. Mm-hmm. Like for example, when you say um, in the Asia-Pacific uh, or the Southeast Asia uh-huh. region or part of uh, Asia Pacific more on youth employment ang mm-hmm. me- medyo mm-hmm. issue natin and uh, okay. if I'm not mistaken sa South Asia uh, education mm-hmm. is one of the major issues so it's it's going to be a good uh, you know uh, place or venue for the for the youth to discuss their their good practices mm-hmm. in terms of how they deal with with specific issues and if ever they could apply it uh, in their setting, in their own country. Specific issues revolving around reproductive and sexual health and yes. rights. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. So, maganda dito kasi may sharing na magaganap. Yes. Mm-hmm. And uh, hindi lang sa isang tao manggagaling. Uh, sa iba't ibang practices, malalaman mo iba't ibang practices galing sa iba't ibang panig ng bansa. And dun mo, marir- dun mo mapapag-compare, di ba? Mm-hmm. Kasi maganda yeah. na ako-compare mo kung ano yung Ano ba yung ginagawa nila? May maliba sa ginagawa ko? Or ganito pa yung practice nila? Ano ba yung practice namin? Mm-hmm. Pero sa matanong lang, sa Pilipinas ba, ano yung mga pinaka uh, malalaking issues ng, ng basa natin mm-hmm. Kasi diba, in terms of reproductive and sexual health and rights? Kasi diba laging napag-uusapan uh, yung RH bill na hot yan eh. issue na yan. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yun, yung mm-hmm. pinaka issue kasi lalo na sa kasi yung yung area kasi ng Pilipinas masyadong mm. syempre islands kasi uh, tayo mm-hmm. so minsan uh, meron tayong mga hindi na reach on uh, advocating and educating about reproductive health mm-hmm. so yung mga kailangan yung makulang pa siguro na ka- kailangan nating punan mm-hmm. on on RH is yung services and yung education for young people kasi bakit natin nasabi Okay. Uh, yung yung statistics ng teenage pregnancy sa Pilipinas Ayan. imbes na pababa lalo siyang lumalaki so yun yung una nating target at yun yung uh, sana malese natin yung yung ganong ano mm-hmm. numbers ng mga kabataan na nabubuntis na mm-hmm. nag-engage sa early sexual activity mm-hmm. tsaka uh, isap din na tumataas na na case ay ang HIV sa mm. Pilipinas. So mag etong etong conference na ito ay magandang venue talaga kasi bukod sa nabanggit kanina ni ni Kuya Anthony, meron po ditong madi-discuss yung lahat ng uh, regarding humanitarian response lalo na nung may naganap na yula, uh, uh-huh. nagkaroon ng bagyo, bagyo yung Yolanda, yung Typhoon Haiyan so meron din mga young people from different countries na magdi-discuss on youth and disability sila yung mag, mag-cater ng uh, good practices yun yung isi-share nila for the conference and yun, marami pa ang dapat abangan kasi eto, eto talaga ay para sa mga kabataan. Oo, kasi aminin natin na hindi naman lahat ng uh, I mean, hindi sa lahat ng tahanan is nadidiscuss yung mga kasi, ganitong issue. Tama. Ganun tayong, ganun yung culture natin. Medyo tabu yung, yeah. yung issue na yan. So maganda to na ibahin natin, pag-uusapan mm-hmm. natin. Kasi paano mo malalaman kung hindi nyo pag-uusapan? Mm-hmm. Parang ganun yung tama. Uh, hindi ba? Right. Kasi, so Parang kunyari, sa ganun, medyo magkaroon na tayo ng mini-discussion dito. Mm. Yeah. Kunyari, di ba, ang, yun nga, kalim, kalimitan, hindi naman na pag-uusapan. Kasi parang, medyo weird mm. pag kunyari, parang, magulang mm, ka. Tapos, bastos, <laughs> kakausapin ka ng magulang mo <laughs> tungkol sa parang ganyan. Parang awkward. <laughs> so, ano ba, dapat ba sa pamilya talaga mag-umpisa yung oh, ganyang kasi, usapan? Or, minsan naman sa barkada. Gusto niya ba, gusto, parang ina-advocate niyo ba na, sa school dapat mas pagtuunan ng pansin mm. yung education about 
reproductive and sexual health and rights? Yeah. Uh, ba- bal- tama, tama yung sinabi nyo na, mm-hmm. di ba pag sa tahanan, usually yung mga reaction ng mga parents na pag sinabing, nay, ano po yung ibig sabihin ng ganto mm-hmm. meron tayong nababanggit, ano po ibig sabihin ng sex? Mm-hmm. So, minsan yung reaction ng parents, <laughs> Bastos ka mm. nga, bastos titong batang oh, oh. Or, 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 or matatawa na. sila na mm. oh, oh. So, Yung bata, bastos <laughs> <laughs> yung, yung iba, yung iba Yung reaction ng parent Kung talagang gusto nilang ma-educate Early Yung mga anak nila So kailangan talaga nilang i-explain mm-hmm. Kasi darating sa punto Darating sa punto na ano, Kung hindi nila maibibigay Yung tamang knowledge on uh, Sexual and reproductive health pwedeng magtanong sila sa peers nila eh, sa mga kaibigan nila yun na, yun na minsan yung yun peers na, yun na hindi rin informed maglilid hmm. yon sa mali pala yung oh. information um, blind leading True. the blind so at aside doon maganda rin na kapag syempre madaming parents na hindi talaga open open sila sa pagtotalk about mm-hmm. sex so it's ano yung advocacy namin talaga is to discuss sa school mm-hmm. yung yung sexuality education reproductive health so ngayon mini main kasama yan sa project ng DOH na mini mainstream yung comprehensive sexuality education Ayun. right um i want to share like a very short story mm-hmm. i'm not sure if the details of the story are uh, the the mm-hmm. most accurate that i can give mm-hmm. pero um there was one time daw na may isang batang babae because mm-hmm. yung, yung parents niya parating kinukuwento sa kanya eto ay flower Uh-huh. It's a little girl. Yeah. So birds and the bees. Yes, mm-hmm. birds and the uh, bees, and this is a flower mm-hmm. now. So because bata siya, hindi niya na itindi ako ano ba talaga yung tun ibig talaga sabihin ng ng party mm-hmm. ng katawan na ganon. So may isang lalaki daw na nilapitan siya, kinaibigan siya sinabi mm-hmm. sa pahawak ng flower mo. Mm-hmm. So that caused a case parang naging rape victim mm-hmm. ng bata. Oh, kasi hindi hindi, hindi niya itindihan mm-hmm. na hindi dapat hawakan. Oh. So Lama. tama na yung yung uh, sex education ay manggaling sa sa parents, parents sana. pero sana well informed and educated oh. then yung parents mm-hmm. na magtuturo sa bata mm-hmm. kasi if you're if you're really teaching something sa, sa isang bata gawin mo nang tama kasi tama. pag hindi mali rin yung it's, it's all going to go to waste mm-hmm. you know? actually tsaka kung merong mga parents diyan na nakikinig ngayon mm-hmm. syempre kausapin niyo na yung mga anak niyo kasi parang at the end of the day sila rin yung mag yung problem ko na rin nabuntis yung anak nila mm-hmm. syempre mas pangit kung na rape di ba mm-hmm. sila rin yung mag magsasuffer mm-hmm. kasi syempre kailangan nilang suportahan yung anak nila mm-hmm. at Saka, parang napakasakit din para sa isang magulang at ang kultura natin di ba is minsan pag kunari nabuntis mm-hmm. is parang syempre magagalit yung magulang na mm-hmm. dun sa bata oh. na bakit ganito minsan di pa tatanggapin mm-hmm. yung anak parang mm-hmm. papalayasin mm-hmm. eh parang syempre meron ding roles ang parents right. dun sa kung bakit nangyari yun kung hindi nagabayan ng nagabayan tama. nagabayan ng tama, tama. Right. Yun. so yun so, na nga yung advocacy nila okay right. so yan once again invite nyo po yung mga katinig mm-hmm. natin na at ang inyong para. message for the youth okay so we're inviting everyone um, especially the youth to attend the 7th Asia Pacific Conference on Reproductive and Sexual Health and Rights which will be held at, at the Philippine International Convention Center on the 21st of um, of January of 2014 so this Tuesday na po um, for you to get a one day pass uh, for for the conference because it's a four day event uh-huh. so for the one day pass for the youth conference the youth it conference. would cost uh, 2,500 pesos So um, we're inviting everyone to join. You just need to go to um, 7APCRSHRManila.org. Okay. Again, that's uh-huh. 7APCRSHRManila.org. to register. Uh, yeah, and we have the page here. Meron silang conference countdown. The conference starts in two days, seven hours and 43 minutes. So just log on to their website for more details. So thank you very much for gracing us with your um, presence Ayan, at marami. any final mm-hmm. uh, Magkikreet lang po kami. Oh, oh, ano. Pwede yan, pwede yan. Pero baguhin so, natin yung ano natin, background music. <laughs> Salamat. So, yeah. Yeah. meron po kaming mga nanonood ngayon sa live stream nito. Yeah. Uh, si Nyane si A. Nui from, from Myanmar. Tayo kayo para Hi. makita kayo. Hi. 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 Yeah. And, nan, 
Nakikinig ah. rin, nanonood si Carol from... Ah, uh, she's from the Philippines. Ah, oh, nice. So, Mayroon tayo mga viewers from me and more. Yeah. And, yeah. Hi! And hello to the Youth Village Committee na nasa office ngayon at gumagawa ng... Ano, para sa conference namin. Yeah, Kung nakikinig kayo. Siyempre, busy-busy sila ngayon. Yeah, yes, doing course. the final preparation. So, I anyway, think everyone, maraming mm-hmm. na, na, natunood sa atin mm-hmm. from from uh, the Asia-Pacific region kasi maraming uh, pinumot namin. Oh, <laughs> thank you very thank you much. Thank you, pa, panunood. So, uh, hello guys and uh, hope to see you soon. Yeah, so, ayan, maraming yes. maraming salamat. Kita-kita kayo sa Tuesday mm-hmm. for the event. Okay. Okay, thank you very thank you. much. Palakpakan natin mga tao dito sa loob ng booth. Pagpapalating mga guests natin. <laughs> Woo, grabe. At syempre, meron tayong isang segment naman ngayon mm-hmm. na namiss ng mga katinig natin. Ayan, kasi parang pinag-uusapan natin kanina yung mga New Year's resolution. Mm-hmm. At na ang to? pagbabago. Okay. So, Pero... Oh, teka, may adlib ba daw? <laughs> Sige. Talo mo yan. Sige lang. <laughs> ano? Okay, gawin Ay, na natin. Pag-usama natin yan. Okay, gawin na natin ang steam. Ang ating bagong... Bagong, bagong, bagong balik. Bagong balik. Segment. Ah, yeah. Ayan, wait lang. Kasi diba... Ah, nakita mo na. Oh, oh. Okay. Kasi diba, uh-huh. some of the most common New Year's resolution we have here are, syempre, saving money, mm-hmm. reading more books, getting healthier, mm-hmm. losing weight, mm-hmm. diba, Dan? <laughs> <laughs> so, pag losing weight, oh, losing weight. Pero diba, mga katinig, have you ever considered cutting down your personal environmental mm-hmm. wastes? Diba? Kasi baka nakakalimutan natin na importante yun sa mga New Year's resolution oh, natin. Parte yun eh. Mm-hmm. So, wag nyo kakalimutan yon At wag kayo mag-alala dahil tutulungan namin kayo yes. i-reinstate yung habit na yon At dahil dyan, we are bringing back a special segment we call... Slim Waist Challenge. Slim Waist Challenge. Slim Waist Challenge. Helping youth reduce the weight of their waist. Great! I've always wanted to slim down and have six-pack abs. No, we're not talking about that kind of waste. We're talking about trash. Waste, as in W-A-S-T-E. Ah, so we want youth to take action. Exactly! We wish to encourage the youth to take charge of the environmental impact. Every week, we will focus on one negative consumption habit and challenge the youth to avoid it. So we will work on it together. Yeah! So, ready for a slimmer waist? Bring, Bring it on! on! Bring it on! Let's get physical. Hindi <laughs> natin na-sustain yung physical-physical. <laughs> okay. Anyway, Ayan. nandito tayo ngayon sa segment natin tinatawag na Slim, Slim Waist Challenge. Challenge. Ano ba to? Kasi last year we tried this at ngayon, eh, dahil New Year nga, syempre, kailangan natin mag-start off with better habits. Mm-hmm. At kasama natin ang ating mga, mga youth kaibigan, casters mga para from pag-usapan Umac. itong issue na to. So, Parang, syempre, di ba? Ang dami-dami na natin problema uh-huh. sa mundo. Bakit pa natin kailangang isama sa New Year's resolution natin ang pagka-cut down ng ating waste? Waste? At waste. Teka, ano ba yung waste? Yung, waste? Ba yun? Waste as in yung kalat, yung ah, excess. Ka- kala ko yung may Garbage. problema ka sa balakang ko. Hindi eh. yung balakang. <laughs> Sige. Although, kailangan mo rin babasan yan. Pero, <laughs> hindi lang yun yun. <laughs> okay. Pero kasi, ang... Kailangan nating isipin is ang motivation natin mm-hmm. as an environmentalist kasi diba parang big word na naman oh. environmentalist. environmentalist parang wow parang pag sinabi mong environmentalist parang ano yun oh. tas kakabahan ka oh kasi parang activist eh. so parang oh. i would like to think of it more as a sustainability advocate yeah. Ay, para mas bigger word yun <laughs> sustainability parang pinapahirap advocate. mo lalo yung buhay na kasi diba sinasabi nila na pag gusto mo maging environmentalist sinasabi nila na sinasabi natin na save the earth mm, save diba? the earth ano na yun eh mm. kumbaga ano ba yung cliche mm, cliche yeah. pero sa totoo lang hindi naman yung earth yung gusto nating isave okay. pag gusto nating maging sustainability mm. advocates diba sarili naman natin oh, oh. 
in the end, yung gusto nating i-save. Mm-hmm. Tulad na lang ng mga bagyo. Mm-hmm. Tulad na lang ng Yolanda, di ba? Mm-hmm. Hindi naman dahil gusto mong i-save yung earth, kaya ka magiging environmentalist, kaya ka mm-hmm. biglang magko-conserve ng energy, ganyan-ganyan. Mm-hmm. Ganyan. <laughs> At hindi ganun kadali yun. Mm-hmm. Hindi lang yon para sa earth. Mm-hmm. Para para rin yun sa sarili natin. Kasi, hindi natin alam, in 10 years pala, ay, wala na pala tayong supply ng coal Energy. at ganyan-ganyan. Actually, nung pumunta kami sa Bataan Nuclear Mm-mm. Power Plant. Ayan. Ayan. So, napapag-usapan yung energy is sinabi nila na talagang paubos na ang stock natin ng enerhiya dito sa bansa. At uh, yun nga, syempre, dahil pumunta ako doon, so, ang pinapromote nila is buhayin uli yung Bataan yung nuclear, nuclear Power, Power Plant. Plan. Kasi yun daw ang pinaka-cheap at uh, pinaka-effective na pagkukunan natin uli ng enerhiya mm-hmm. kung sakaling maubusan na itong ating bansa. Pero syempre, nasa diskusyon pa rin sila ng uh, kung dapat bang buhayin or dapat mm-hmm. bang dyan na lang yan. Pero para sa akin, sayang eh. Kasi oh. uh, na-observe ko yung paligid ng nuclear power plant and uh, sobrang, uh, kumbaga, buong-buo pa yung mga components uh, na sana napagana. Pwede pang gamitin. Oh, so anyway, ang point lang natin is Importante to, wag natin kakalimutan mm-hmm. ng ating environmental consumption habits. Yon. At dahil diyan, that okay. is why we created the Slim Waste Challenge. Mm, so mga katinig, introduce mo sa kanila yung Slim Waste. Ang Slim Waste Challenge is ang gagawin natin for 7 days. Seven days. challenge namin kayo mm-hmm. to do a particular um, habit or to avoid doing a particular habit. Mm. Sabi na, challenge? Wow. <laughs> Nagulat. So, pero, bago tayo mag-start ng ating first challenge, meron tayong task number one for this mm. week. Kasi nga, ang gusto natin with this radio show is really to engage the youth. So, mm. gagawin namin to, gagawin ng mga youth casters nyo to, at sana kayong mga nakikinig sa Gawin amin ngayon. Rin. Ay, uh, makisama sa atin. Kasi, mm. syempre, we're all in this together. We're sabi nga, no? We're all in Ayun. So, for our task number one. Mm-hmm. Ito na tayo sa task number one natin, ha? Oh, hindi pa to yung challenge. Task pa lang Okay, to. mga youth casters, buhay ba kayo dyan? Oh, yan. Hi, hi, bukas na mic ninyo. Hi kaya. Hello, hello. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Makasama tayong youth casters. Oh, sulitin nyo na dahil na kontinu na oras natin. Ready na ba kayo for task number ready na, one? Ready. Okay, ready na daw. Okay, ito, for one whole week, starting today at 5 p.m. is ang task... Ano kaya ang task number one? <laughs> Ay, ang gagawin natin is bibilangin nyo, bilangin nyo lang muna lahat ng ginagamit nyong disposable beverage containers. Tara! Okay. Nag-guess nyo ba yon mga katiyas? Yes. yes. Mm. Oh, sige. Ano masasabi nyo? Kailangan pa rin. <laughs> Magbibilang tayo. Oh, yon. So, simple simple lang naman. Every time, for one whole week ah, mula mm. 5 p.m. ngayon hanggang 5 PM next, next Saturday. Saturday. Pag-uusapan na rin natin. Bilangin nyo lang kung ilang beses kayo gagamit ng kahit anong disposable Cups. beverage containers. Mm-hmm. Which includes... For example, dyan, kanina kumain ako doon sa isang fast food. Mm-hmm. Dyan lang sa may... Siyempre, ma- ma-promote na natin. Oh, eh. May bayad na yung pag-ay. <laughs> Gumamit ako ng isa. Isa. Dahil, diba, syempre, pag kumakain ka sa fast food is yung sinuserve nila nasa mm. plastic cup. Uh-huh. So, kunyari, bumili ka ng uh, seat. Seat. <laughs> <laughs> yung sasabi ko na. So, so, kunyari, kunyari na lang ka ng ice tea. Ice tea. Uh, so, ano, kayo, mga youth casters, tingin nyo, on average, ilan yung nagagamit nyo per week? Mm, sige. Simulan natin kay Kuya. Mm. Pakilala sabay sabihin mo mm. kung nakakailan ka. I'm Ryan Mitchell. Ah. Oh, yeah. mm. Siguro, naka... Tatlong araw lang naman klase, tapos bira lang ang bumili sa yun, labas. Tama mm-hmm. yun. Ano? Siguro tansya mo ilan? Tatlo lang. Kasama tatlo yung ano, ako na soft drinks at ano, magbibilangan tayo. Uh, Bilangin nyo rin kung ilan yung straw na ginagamit nyo. Basta kahit lahat ano. Lahat ng plastic. Mm-mm. Okay. Or paper cup. At pero may except exemption pala. Uh, Huwag nyo nang bilangin yung kunyari uh, one liter pataas. Kunyari, mm. uminom kayo ng one... Oh, so, ganun na lang gawin nyo, di ba? <laughs> one liter ng Coke. <laughs> <laughs> Ayun, <laughs> oh, <laughs> para lang talaga bumaba yung bila. Uh, Ayun, huwag na natin isama yung kunyari, one liter of milk mm. o kumuha ka ng konti. Huwag oh, yun. Yes. Yung mga ano lang. Oh, sige. 
pababa. Oh, oh go. Simulan na okay natin. And marami na, malapit na tayo matapos. Okay, go. Ayun. So, yun yung task nyo. Tingin nyo. <laughs> sabihin mo muna kung ilan sila. Ay, ilan nga. Ilan nga ba? <laughs> mabilis lang, mabilis lang. Oh, oh sabihin nyo lang. Pangalan, tas ilan. Pangalan, tat. Tatlo, Pangalan ganyan. ilan? Audrey, oh. sampo. O, oh, ganyan. Ang dami. Ayan, siguro, tatlo or apat. O, oh, yan. Tatlo or apat. Go. Fred, five. Fred, five. Zyra, three to five. Zyra, three to five. Cedric, uh, seven. Seven. Oh. Higher sense, ano, mga dalawa. Dalawa. Oh, dalawa lang. Ayan na. So, may mga pangalan na sila. Cedric, oh. five. Hi. <laughs> so, yun. At mga katini, guys. Kasi ang interesting thing dito is as you go throughout the week, bilangin nyo talaga as in kung meron kayong notebook or sa cellphone nyo, meron kayong compose message. Basta every time na gumamit kayo, every time na inabutan kayo ng sales lady ng baso or anything, pakibilang. At uh, keep in mind that number for our next first challenge next, next week. week. Ayan. Ayan. So, ang challenge ngayon, uh, ulitin lang natin, is bilangin kung ilan yung plastic, uh, ano ba yan? Containers mm-hmm. na magagamit mo sa isang linggo. Mm-hmm. Kaya ba natin yun? Kaya, kaya, kaya nyo ba yan? Yes! Oh, mabibilang lang naman. Mabibilang <laughs> lang. <laughs> Sobrang simple. Na, Sige, ayan. ayan. So, dahil, tapos na tayo sa segment natin na may assignments ano na kayo. <laughs> Slim Waist Slim Challenge. Slim Challenge. Ayan, dahil dyan, batihan na tayo. Oo. Okay, sumunan na natin kay Hayes. Dito ka sa mic na isa. Kasi hindi yan. Okay. Uh, binabati ko nga pala lahat ng ano, BR1. Lahat ng mga classmates and blockmates ko dyan mm-hmm. sa University of Makati. Tsaka sa ano, yun ang loko sa akin. Oh, okay. yun Yari ka, pag na nakita kita sa Las Piñas, I trust. Kalina pa niya sa Las Piñas. Galit na galit siya. May pinaglalaban. Oh, okay. Okay. Kukuya. Yan, ako naman binabati ko yung mga BR1 din na classmates ko and then lahat ng mga katinig na nakikinig dyan tsaka yung papa ko na, na nakikinig lagi sa DZIQ. Ayun! 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 Binabati ko lahat ng tao. Hello! Ayan! Go! Hi! Uh, mama! Okay. Hi! Okay. Ayun! <laughs> Sige ya! Hello! Uh, binabati ko yung girlfriend ko dyan. Oh! Oh! Oh, oh, Adrian, oh, Lapa, hindi ko naman. Oh, Babatiin mo. Oh, oh. So, binabati ko lang naman si ano, mama ni Frances Aquino. Oh, yeah. Yun. Thank, okay. you, thank you sa pag-accommodate sa amin. Oh, go out, Edward. <laughs> okay, at binabati ko lahat ng tao din. <laughs> okay, dahil ako dyan, binabati ko din lahat sila na nakikinig sa atin. Maraming salamat sa isang Sabadong sama-sama na naman tayo dito sa Voice of the Radio hanggang oh, sa next jam-tap. Sabado. See you guys soon. Mabuhay ang kabataang Pilipino. have just listened to another inspiring, motivating, and empowering episode of Voice of the Youth Radio with the voice master himself, Mr. Pachola Gonzalez. Together with the Voice of the Youth Network and the Student Voice Artist Society. Like us on Facebook. That's facebook.com forward slash votey radio. That's V-O-T-Y Radio. Tune in again next Saturday, 3 p.m. at Radio Inquirer, 9.90 a.m. Visit www.vote.org. is Inquirer Radio 9:90 AM Every news is tackled issues answered and controversies clarified Banner Story Banner Story a no nonsense discussion with highly respected journalists Arlene de la Cruz and Jake Madarazo Banner Story where every news matters matter Monday to Friday 6 to 9 in the morning on Inquirer Radio 9:90 a.m. Alamin at suriin ang mga isyong pinag-uusapan ng sampayanan. Talaga naman naghahanap sila ng mga mambabatas, lalo tigit sa matas na kapulungan na makakatulong sa kanilang advokasya para isulong yung buhay ika. Himayin ang mga isyong bumabalot sa mga nag-iinit na balita. Ano ba ang solusyon para sabihin mong mabawasan yung paghihirap ng ating mga kababayan ng ating bansa? 
at tuklasin ang mga tulong at serbisyong ipinagkakaloob ng gobyerno at pamahalaan sa ating lipunan. Lalaki yung pwede nilang i-loan at the same time. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh. Kumusta hindi natin partners yung financial status hmm. ng SSS? Marami. Dahil sa investment. Issue ng Bayan Issue ng Bayan Kasama sina Liza Soriano at Ricky Brozas Makialam at pag-usapan natin ang mga issue ng Bayan Tuwing linggo mula alas 8 hanggang alas 10 ng umaga Dito sa Inquirer Radio 990 AM We give you not just first-hand news We bring you to where it is happening as it happens Fast Factual, comprehensive information, balanced and fearless views, fear commentary, entertainment, public service. This is DZIQ Inquirer Radio 990.